Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at an RDA. Yay! Squonking is not dead, squonking is alive and well. Uh, this is the Pallet RDA, which is by Alex Lubinsky, who is the company is Broken Ohm Designs. Uh, this is manufactured in Poland by Hassar Vapes, and it is, yeah, it's very well done this. It's well presented, and open up the box, and boom, one RS, well, Rebuildable squonking atty, rebuildable dripping atty, call it what you want, uh, it's all in here. Now this is going to cost you about $150 uh, and it will be shipped from the States by Alex himself. Uh, shipping could be anything from $8 up to $90, it depends where you are in the world, how you want it shipped and, and, and so on and so forth. And the sales will be probably be done through the Broken Ohm Facebook group. So go and check that out. The first batch has gone out. The second batch will be going out in about the next four to eight weeks, roughly. But enough of the chatty chatty, let's just get in here and show you everything you get. Once again, 10 out of 10 on the presentation. Uh, excuse any dog hairs you may see here, but uh, obviously you're going to get a one drip tip. The bore on this is about 6.3 millimeters. And the drip tip, uh, the top cap and the beauty ring are all Delrin. The beauty ring is going to take it out to 24 millimeters in diameter. If you just use the Atty with the top cap, it's going to be 22 millimeters in diameter. For those of you that are curious, if you want to use your own drip tips, uh, the diameter on here is 12 millimeters. So that's what you've got there. If we look inside the top cap, hopefully you can see in there, you can see there's no, there's nothing fancy going on here as in reduced chambers or anything like that. It's just the, at what you see. This air hole here itself doesn't actually, it, it looks like there's an inner, you know, inner cap, but uh, no, it's just been milled out that way. And I'm pretty sure the bore in that is three millimeters, uh, but we'll, we'll come back to that in a sec. You do get a little baggie and in there you're going to find spare O-rings, a spare insulator, a post screws and also a standard 510 pin. It came pre-installed with a squonking pin. You will also find little tubes like this. Uh, now, uh, these are, there's three in total. So you've got one that is uh, a one by, it's a 1.2 millimeters in size, six millimeters by 1.5 millimeters, and the one I've got inside is two by two millimeters. That's the one that I like to use the most. So the deck itself, uh, you can see the, you know, the two by two, two by two mil holes there that I've got, and there's your tubes. I'm just gonna grab one of the existing tubes, give a little poke there, and then just pull this one out, and you can see how easy it is. We'll leave the tubes out just now, and just let you have a look at the deck. Uh, I, I will say that the machining on this is very good, it's very well finished. Uh, I have no blemishes on it, no scratches. It was 100% perfect when it arrived and I'm very happy about that. Uh, the only thing that I will say and I do find is I think this o-ring on the bottom is just a little bit on the slack side. Overall height is about 19.25 millimeters. That's not including the 510 here or a drip tip. Uh, on the base we have a palette. Um, we've got the Broken Ohm logo going on there and gold plated brass positive post. Pretty sure it's a peak insulator in there as well and it's really easy to strip down and clean this guy out. I'm going to pop a tube back in here. Uh, you'll see, uh, I'm on my build tab here just now, you'll see that one side perfectly round and the other has a little peak on it so you know which way that it's got to go in. This has got an o-ring on it and it's pretty straightforward. It just drops in and uh, even a ham-fisted sod like me can usually get it right first time. There we go, she's in. So we're going to back off the two screws here and uh, we'll get a coil in here. Listen, um, Alex, uh, if you don't know, check out his bro Broken Ohm Instagram. I mean, he's been doing, that's how I first saw Alex was uh, his Instagram photos uh, and posting lots of photos in my Facebook group. But yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty damn good with the coils and all that kind of stuff. So. But uh, I would have thought that he would have nailed this because obviously this is his design. Uh, I know I said it's manufactured by Hassar, but um, it's all his own design, this. 
you can see there that uh, you've got plenty of room there to get your coils in there. Today I'm going to use a PC coil. Once again, this is uh, the marvellous Rob Fisher edition. Uh, this is a 2.5 Ni80 0 0.4 ohm Alien. Uh, now, you will get a 3mm ID coil in here, no problem at all. Now, there's no um, jiggery-pokery, shall we say, to putting a coil in here. It's extremely straightforward, but uh, you can see that, you know, you may think that the coil would go that way, and obviously the air hole is that way underneath in the tube, but uh, I'm just going to have the coil this way. And I just really put a little bit of cotton down in the well. Now, I'll, I'll explain why, because if you put great deals, you know, a great amount of cotton into these wells here, it's going to reduce the well capacity. And what you end up doing is just, you just end up, filling this with just really really quickly and it will go into the airflow tube. So I'm just giving this a little pulse and everything seems to be okay. I'm using some of this new stuff that uh, I got from uh, Haystown which is uh, it's strange, it's not my usual kind of stuff but uh, I, I, it's a bit like Nutella, a sweet Nutella but uh, yeah we'll have a go with this. Grab some Cloud9 here. Now I've tried many different wicking techniques here. I've tried sweeping the cotton down, folding it over, but at the end of the day I find just cutting off a little bit. I mean I've not got a huge amount going on here and just have enough so that it's just touching the deck. Uh, I don't want great big clumps of cotton and if I just push that in you can see that I've still got, you know, I've got a space here and a space here. Uh, that's all you need because once again if you block this off then you're going to end up with a juice capacity of something like a, a 14 millimeter atty not a 22 mil atty so my advice leave plenty of space so I've got my beauty ring I'm just going to drop this in here and uh, then we're going to throw on to this is uh, snowcap mods this is the avalanche v2 and just tighten this down. Now there's nothing that locks the, the beauty ring to the, the you know the deck here so you just got to be a bit canny when you put this on. Once you feel it getting a little bit on further down then you can kind of like line up the the window on the beauty ring with the, the air hole there then kind of hold the two of them together and then tighten it down like that. We're going to have a bit of a squonk here and uh, here she comes. Now you will, you can see it, I can get a, a fair bit in there. It's not a massive amount. Uh, I've had other 22 mil atties that will take a lot more juice and you cannot quench the coil as such, but it does pull the vast majority of that liquid back out. And yeah, once again, I am going to say, and I'm not just saying this, uh, but it is finished very, very well. Uh, there's no majorly sharp edges on this and whatnot. And yeah, each one of these goes through Alex's hands and he, you know, he QCs all of them himself. Top cap back on. And she's just going to sit there like that. Use the supply drip tip for just now. And there we go. That's the palette. RSDRDA dripper, whatever you want to call it. And uh, right, back up top, we'll go for a vape. So this is the bit where I tell you what I think about this little dripper. Um, it, it's not a bad looking bit of kit. It's not bad at all. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm, it'll depend on how it takes off, I, I think. But I wouldn't be surprised if you saw other accessories for it coming down the line. Uh, it is, well, how does it vape? That's the important thing. Uh, now, this is the biggest airflow pin that I have in here, and this is, if I remember, 6 millimeters by 1.5, which gives that kind of draw. It is, I would call it direct lung. Um, and it's, even though it's on the, it's the noise, it, is it noisy? For that kind of draw, I don't think it, it feels smooth. I'll give it that. Uh, It's very, very good. The flavour from it is spot on. I, I, I have zero issues with the flavour from this. I really do not. 
What I will say is though, that you have to get that coil really close to that tube. Um, I do find that, you know, the, your, your mouth is really close to that coil uh, because it sits quite high because of the height of that tube. Uh, but if I found that if I don't have the coil almost bouncing off that ear tube, then I get quite a bit of throat hit from this one. It's absolutely bang on if it's right down, but just a tiny little bit too high and yeah, I get a cracking amount of throat hit. Now here's something that really bugs me. Um, and I know that in the grand scheme of things, it's, um, it's not a big deal, uh, but um, now you've got these tubes. Now, we've seen the tube design before. Was it the, the Aeronaut from back in the day? Uh, Aeronaut V1 and V2. Um, and if you use the beauty ring, if you use the beauty ring, um, you can't get the pin out. Now, I've, I've, you can see that I've, I've turned the deck, I've backed the deck off. So, there we go. And it would be great if I could just pop that tube out just now. But no, it, it won't. I've, I've actually got to back the, the deck off a few turns to get it. That It just sits above the beauty ring and, and then I can um, change the tube out. It's a minor niggle. It takes 10 seconds, if that, but it's it's a niggle. So I have to mention it. I just think if, if they'd actually, you, you know how you've got that black bit on the, the beauty ring there? If they just had it so that it was just big enough so that you could change the tube on the fly without messing about with anything. You, you still can, but you have to back the deck off and things like that, which is just, I'm just moaning for the sake of moaning now because I'm a miserable old fart. Uh, I've gone down to the next size tube, which is, and I'm just checking here, two times two mil air holes and it feels in draw to me it feels much the same as the bigger one but it's um i i, I it's a tiny tiny little bit more restricted still almost feels direct lung uh those of you that had the the two by two on the cabello or the, the dwarf very similar uh but the i think that the flavor is Personally, I, I prefer the flavour. I prefer this uh, draw on this middle of the road one, the 2x2. The two two. It just suits me better. And also with the two smaller holes, if you over squonk, there's, there's less chance of, of juice going down. Depends on the consistency of your juice, but there's less chance of it going into the tube. Now, if you do over squonk and you do get juice going through the holes in the tube, um, don't worry about it because just a quick toot like that and it draws all the juice out and puts it back into the deck. Um, squonking, you know how it works. You get used to how much you can squonk. This is not a long, hard push in a bottle. It is, a, yeah, it doesn't take a huge amount of squonking to get this going again. I think I'll show you here what I mean about the, the O-ring that I mentioned earlier on. I'm spinning the top cap here and it's not taking the base off. It's not, I have to, you know how when you, you force the cap at an angle, you put some pressure on it and then spin and then it comes off. So the, the O-ring's just a little bit on the slack side. Now I've put the, the one by 1.2 mil pin in here now and I've dropped the beauty ring, it's doing my head in. Uh, and this feels like, uh, it feels like uh, one of your modern pod systems, the mouth to lung you get with them. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a very, I would call it a very loose mouth to lung, but it's it's still on the mouth to lung side. Obviously, the kind of coil I've got here and the fact that it's a, it's a mech squonker, this might not be ideal. It's a nice draw, it's, um, I don't think it lends itself that great just because of the way the top cap works. Um, I think more a restricted direct lung, direct lung, I think is where this kind of thing excels. Uh, I, I really do. Uh, but you do have the option there. And these tubes come with it. You don't buy them 
you know they don't cost you extra it's within the price um short and sweet version it's a good attie it's a good attie the only cons i have with it are the what i said about the ear pin if your ear tube if you're using the supply beauty ring it's a bit of a pain um you have to be very careful with the cotton don't load your your chamber with cotton because it basically turns it into a 14 mil atty. You can only squonk a tiny, tiny little bit. You have to leave space there. There's nothing fancy about putting a coil in. It's really, really easy. Just have it copped off. It, you know, it don't follow the line of the tube. It's not what you think it should be. You saw it in the close-ups. It's that easy. Uh, and that's it. Not bad. Cracking flavour. And it's actually really, really well finished as well. If you want to grab a hold of one, go and check out the Broken Ohm Facebook group and uh, hit Alex there, or you'll probably get them through Broken Ohm and Instagram as well. Uh, thank you to Alex for sending this on. I, I did get this free to review. There were no dog biscuits, there was no chocolate sent on with it. But um, yeah, really, really like this one. Thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.